So, that was the last time you'll hear my M240i cold start, completely stock, and this is the last time you'll hear it on the road. Completely stock. And that's because I'm on my way this morning to Quicksilver Exhaust, uh, a company that are, are well known actually on social media. I think probably the most, I'd say famous one they, they did, and the one that I was most aware of, was uh, Seen Through Glasses, former Jaguar F-Type. I remember that distinctly. The V8 in that car with the Quicksilver exhaust was probably just the most devilish sounding thing I'd ever heard. And since then, I'd always just sort of known of Quicksilver. Um, anyway, I'm on my way to them today to have my M240i fitted with a, uh, well, their, their, their bespoke system for this car. Um, funnily enough, a few months back when I reviewed a black on black M240i, that had a Quicksilver exhaust on it, the very one in fact that I'm going to have fitted. And what's more, the owner of that car uh, at the time was a chap called Ollie, who I'm going to introduce you to in a moment when we arrive because Ollie actually does work at Quicksilver Exhaust and has kindly arranged this whole fitting for me. So, I sort of know what the car's gonna sound like and uh, if you guys saw that video, you might have had an inkling as well. But still, it's gonna be different when it's actually fitted to my car. And now that I've spent a long time with this stock, I really think and I really hope that the difference is gonna be, well, worth it, I suppose, because it's not a cheap system, actually. Or I should say, it's more expensive than anything I've really spent on modifying my car before. Um, you know, my back box elite on my Z4 cost me £150. This is almost 10 times that. So, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, <laughs> and, um, but mostly excited. So, look, let me stop waffling now. I'll tell you what, I'm going to drop it down a few gears because we're on a fast bit of road. And, uh, I'll see you guys at Quicksilver. Well guys, here we are. Let me introduce you to Ollie. Hello. The man that's uh, made this all possible for me today. Thank you so much for organising this. My pleasure. Um, and in front of the car, as you can see, is what's going to be going on to the M240i. And I'm hoping, because I know barely anything, <laughs> that you might be able to explain a little bit exactly what we've got here. Of course. Well, this is our Sound Architect exhaust for the M240i. This is a 76 mil system. It's a full 76 mil system from front to back. It deletes the centre silencer. It deletes the forward resonator on the earlier models or secondary cat or OPF on the later models. It features a transverse rear box with the valve moved to the right hand side on the rear of the car. So your exhaust gases are now exiting in the path of best flow. So you get a real defined cut between valve open and valve shut. Also comes with carbon tailpipes with a nice aggressive slash cut on them. So they look fantastic on the rear of the car. This rear silencer features both a sort of chambered perforated section and also uh, what, we, what we refer to as a, as a slight helm halt, which filters some of the harsher frequencies lower down. So you can drive with this, with a valve open on the motorway for hours, you're not going to experience any drone or, or, or harsh frequencies. Um, and in fact, you drove my car, which also had this system fitted a, a couple of months back. So you know how good it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Yes. Um, and, and I think something, maybe something a bit different. The design is certainly uh, quite alternative uh, yeah. when you compare it to what else is on the market. And, and I think... I think you know there's a good head of steam for some of our competitors, and I think people often don't think of us for 240s because we often specialise at the at the top end of the of the market in supercars. But we do do fantastic uh, BMW sort of M performance and M light systems, and uh, yeah, you're about to find out how good it is on your motor. So I guess the next thing to do then, car's already on the ramp. I'm going to give you the keys, and uh, well, come back much later on, and you'll get, get it done. magic in the meantime. We'll, we'll get, get it done. done. Excellent.
Okay, guys, so uh, the time has passed and I am now back at Quicksilver. And as you can see, the car has got the newly installed system on it. But actually, just before we start it up and hear it for the first time, I wanted to chat with Ollie again. Well, that you, noise you've, is inbound. you've heard it, haven't you, already? Of course, man, I miss that sound. <laughs> There's a few differences on this system, which will be very obvious when we sort of point the camera at the car and do a comparison. So yeah, f firstly here, resonator, Sun Market secondary catalyst, uh, now Eurospec cars from uh, September 2018 on, that's a particulate filter. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. And I was keen to not get that on, on my car. I was the same as you. Um, <laughs> yeah. But don't fear, if you do have a VBA, <laughs> Just knock it out with the system and code it out later. <laughs> <laughs> um, so next, secondary uh, resonator. Yeah. Again, it's just knocking more and more noise out of the system. And as you get to the rear box here, the system is basically emptying into a chamber uh, on, on this side. You've got a sort of almost 60, 40 bleed out through the silence passes here. So even when you've got your valve open, there's still a proportionate amount of gases entering in through the silent side and uh, yeah, yeah. quietening it down. By contrast, if yes. we move on to this, and you'll see we've, we've taken this out and got it got it a bit hot just to check all its tolerances earlier. So you'll notice it's already going a nice shade of gold. Yeah, really nice. But on this, so no resonator in the front here, no secondary resonator. We retain a full 76 mil bore all the way through plenty of clearance and as we get to the rear you'll notice the valve has been moved to the other side yes so when oh, you yeah. open your valve bang you've got a complete bypass of the silencer when you shut it it diverts the gases across this transverse box and out through here oh, i can't wait well i guess the next thing to do is uh start it up for the first get time your phone paired and start it up Oh yes, because it's all controlled through an app. Yeah, so originally on these cars, you have to put the car in Sport Plus, which is disabling the traction control to open the valve fully. Yep. Um, I don't like that. I also don't like the fact the valve self-modulates and is on, for me, the wrong side. So uh, we use what we call our sound architect. Benefit is you can keep the valve open 100% all the time without interference from the car. And that also the valve has moved into the path of best flow. Another benefit is you can keep that valve shut on the cold start, which will keep your neighbours happy when <laughs> yeah. you don't want to be in ASFO mode. <laughs> so win-win, basically. It's a win-win. Fantastic. Well, let's hear it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Not bad, eh? <laughs> well, I like it. <laughs> so I think we said uh, a minute ago, but one really cool thing about this this exhaust is it's controlled. Obviously, the valve you control through an app on your phone. So uh, Ollie can demonstrate for me. This is the valve closed. It sounds actually quite similar to stock. And then when you To be honest, I don't think I'll be needing this app because they're just going to stay open the whole time. Um, that's a massive difference. Though, yeah, that turbo whistle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now as well. Oh my goodness! I can't wait to get this out on the road. Right, here we are. This is exciting. Let's just put my seat back to position. Well, so in there, it sounded great. Um, I've got a 40 minute drive home now, which is fantastic. Um, and obviously gonna give it a little bit of a play. The valves are open on the app. I'm gonna leave that. I don't think there's ever gonna be a reason to, to not have them open. Um, it is obviously quite dark. So I'll probably wrap this video up pretty soon. 
and then we'll do a proper video to hear this noise during the daylight uh, some other time. But let's start it up. God, they're just, it feels like there's a car now under me, whereas beforehand there really wasn't much. Okay, let's go. Let's just get out of here and then it's gonna be going straight into spool. <laughs> See those backfires, those upships. to have this done ever since I bought the car. I'm so happy that I've finally, finally been able to uh, to make it happen. With a big thanks, of course, to Ollie and Quicksilver. Let's just... <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Let's just pop those windows up. So, it's getting dark. Uh, I've got a lot of motorway between here and home. So it's not really much fun really to film, although there's going to be a lot of unnecessary downshifts, I'm sure, on the way home. It's not, I will say now, if you're watching this video, the, the exhaust him is not stupid, stupid loud. So this isn't, uh, I'm thinking what word to say, but it's not, it's not an antisocial system. It, I mean, it, it, it's all relative, isn't it? I mean, it is antisocial, but it's not, if that makes sense. It's not crazy, stupid loud, and of course, I've got the option to close the valves whenever I fancy, whatever mode I'm driving in. If I do find that it's just a little bit much. But yeah, I can't see myself doing that. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Again, big thanks to Quicksilver and to Ollie in particular. And um, guys, give this video a thumbs up. I hope you like the decision I made with the exhaust. I'm very, very happy indeed. And of course, there'll be lots more content coming with the car and this exhaust in the future. So do subscribe if you're not already. But until then, guys, I will see you very, very soon.